7th, close to West 7th, we're looking at a potential off-market listing to do a flip. Uh, we're meeting our uh, contact, Mark. Uh, let's see what he has to say. Oh, there or he is. Right is. There. All right, hey, Mark, how's it going? See ya. You want to tell uh, the people why we're here? Just a little brief synopsis. Um, yeah, we're, we're trying to sell you a house. Yeah, so we're looking for potential <laughs> buy, fix, and, and sell. All right, let's do a quick walkthrough. We got an um, older gentleman here, so we don't want to inconvenience anybody. Let's do it. Find the light. Oh yeah. Oh, it's right here. done uh, looking at the property the, the house was fantastic so this is gonna be a fairly easy uh, turn for us it's just a matter of not if my friend Mark and I can negotiate a really really good deal and I'm gonna leave that in his hands and if we do acquire it you know I'm gonna put him up in the video and give him some free airplay cool. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right man thanks, thanks. another Monday, Monday motivation. motivation. I'm your host, Daniel. came back from doing another vlog. Uh, we looked at a buy, fix, and sell property and learned another valuable lesson that we wanted to share with everybody. That's why I got my man uh, Dario here from KPS. Uh, a valuable lesson when it comes to uh, selecting the right GC or a contractor to do a property uh, so to no make sure, hang on, to make sure uh, you do a background check and if you don't know what you're dealing with, how that can actually influence whether or not you sell that property. Uh, so another investor actually told us the story of one of his properties that he had under contract and the people pulled out after they looked at the permits and Googled the contractor that actually did the work and all the stuff that he's done in the past and all the bad reviews that he has. So um, that right there cost him his sale. So choosing the cheapest is never the best. Yes, you always want to make sure you do business with people that um, either have been, uh, you know, gotten to through a referral or somebody that you know and trust. That's a good track record. Right. So don't always rely on the cheapest because it's definitely not going to be the greatest and it's going to cost you your deal. And if you don't sell it, you don't make any money. Cool. No, knowledge. 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 See you guys next time.